Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. So I'll be seeing your general messages. Let's see the messages for you between October 22 to 31. Let's see the messages for you. All right, so this is going to be a general message. So take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For more personal accurate readings, white spells, premium crystals, can reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, or email. Let's see the messages for you. All right, Sagittarius. All the details are in the description box under this video. Do check it out for more. October 22 to 31. Let's see the messages. Okay. All right. So we have the... Ten of Cups, we have the King of Wands. There's a strong energy of someone that is in love with you. This person is falling in love. They're very attractive, good looking. You will see them making uh, consistent moves, okay? Being always there, very much there for you. Okay, there are two people interested in you. To be honest, you have two people coming in, okay? Both of them have an intention of marrying you. One of them is so hot and tempting. Another one is simple and uh, full of love and smiles. And both of them are interested in you actually for something serious. So you have two new love offers coming in from long distance. Okay. And uh, I'm seeing that uh, they're crushing on you. You're already talking to these options, I feel. You're already talking to these options. Okay. So they have a solid crush on you, literally solid crush on you. And they cannot wait to tell you how they feel. Now, the problem is there's not one person. There are two people. Okay. So one of them could be a water sign. Another one is a fire sign. But I'm, I can see that they're coming towards you. Whereas you are simply trying to come out of the past baggage. Or you don't have much uh, trust. Okay. Um, about these options even if they are in in your life i don't see that you're very uh you find them very trustworthy i can see you walking away from something that you were holding on to very toxic you're walking away from that and moving towards light and this light is two new options coming towards you in love okay so recently you have come out of the past and feeling really happy light-hearted relaxed and uh, you want to enjoy life right now you just want to be in your solo energy you're tired of the drama that you have uh you know faced recently probably with the scorpio there was a lot of judgment back and forth energy you know pointing fingers at each other uh you're tired of all of this and uh, now you've come out of this energy and you want to go you know ahead in life now you are thinking of transformation you're seeking guidance you're seeking help you're seeking someone to give you the right kind of you know advice that can take you towards a man's success and happiness but trust me all you have to do is just leave it on the universe pray to god keep praying to god and god is about to send this person to you we are going to have two options but okay and you will be deciding between the two you have the power you're going to decide with whom you feel more compatible with. Both of these options are literally coming in for something very serious. Okay. You'll be in the spotlight right now, Sagittarius. All the focus, all the limelight is on you. Everybody's interested in you. You are looking so good, so attractive that these options, they cannot control their, you know, um, desire to express their feelings you're so attractive the way you communicate the temperance yes there are two options you will be deciding between that will be the only confusion of your life so i can see i don't know where you have your uh, lovers coming towards you and you will be deciding between the two we see how you will be meeting they will be fond of your communication skills you're very good at communication okay and uh, the way you're so ambitious and live your life at your best. Right now, you're still trying to heal from the past, I feel. Even if you feel like you have released yourself from the past. But still a part of you is trying to, you know, forget something that has happened. So you might be closing yourself off 
uh, a little bit from these options coming towards you and it's tiring for you as well right now when it comes to your uh, focus in life it has increased i'm also seeing you succeeding in life you are very uh, passionate about your goals about your dreams about your ambitions and i can see you rise i can see you shine but at the same time when it comes to love relationships you are not very excited okay or you are still trying to you know relax and you know uh, be hopeful be positive about someone new coming in for some of you it is like the money is causing some issues yeah someone from the past i feel you had to walk away from it still hurts you because you really gave a lot to this person a lot of your time love and attention to this person now that they've gone it's hurting you it's bothering you but then you've made up your mind that walking away is the best policy here what about these new options coming towards you this one thing i can surely say that sagittarius you are rising you're rising in your career field i'm seeing a lot of popularity coming in you're also taking good care of your fitness your diet so you look more attractive these days these new options are trying to get to know you and i can see that you will be dating these options and uh, trying to get to know them more it will take some time according to you i feel you want to take some time you don't want to rush into things so you will be uh, judging them testing them okay three of cups you'll be taking your time and also seeking advice from third party or friends but you won't be able to conclude okay or you won't be able to say yes to any of these options okay something is stressing you there's a burden of uh decision making there's a burden that you don't know uh who to choose or what is this burden about let me see eight of swords yeah somewhere a part of you is happy being alone and deciding to marry is going to take time okay so you'll be happy uh that you're dating and i'm also seeing there's a relationship coming into your life but making a decision of getting married will take some time for you because it's a huge decision and uh, you're also a little worried about the outcome or the future how things are going to go between the two so i'm seeing you taking your time not rushing maybe there's a taurus coming in yeah there's a lot of stress let me see what is it about what is the stress about right now you just want to grow your money finances yeah you have been hurt you have been stressed out with love you have been drained very badly in the past you have come out of a bad experience in the past and that still hurts you that still scares you away and that is the only blockage that is uh, coming in you and your desire to get married okay so the past is something that should remain in the past you haven't fully forgiven or healed from it it's time for you to heal from it all right yeah and then i can see imprisonment yes you're still locking yourself down to the old experiences to the history and uh, you feel a little anger towards it okay but i can see you changing there's also some worry about you know your position your work why why such that suddenly your energy is a little heavy i can sense you were doing very well maybe you have to go to a long distance to work and this is tiring for you some of you are not getting the desired job opportunity career opportunity or a breakthrough at work breakthrough in business but you will get a lot of love and respect with time be patient that is also bothering you some of you are having financial issues that could be the reason but you're taking undue stress you know unnecessary stress that is not even required just go with the flow is the energy for you okay so some of you are too occupied with work that you don't want to pay attention to your love life that could be another blockage yes you're controlling yourself you think that uh, you're at peace right now and what if a new relationship happens and things don't go according to your plans you're trying to control the outcome you're just not going with the flow trust me you have someone that matches you on the same page but there is a need for you to adjust as well you have more than 
uh, one option if you don't like someone it's time you cannot just like close yourself off there are more options coming towards you i'm seeing a lot of options coming towards you okay no need to worry yeah unnecessary worry about who is going to be my partner there is a part of you that is uh, restless you're not feeling very relaxed with with this thought that you will get married or you will find someone in your life you have trust issues now okay you have uh, doubts that you'll ever find the one these are actually blocking your blessings yes let go of control issues for giving and learning yes it's time for you to let go of someone maybe you're not letting go of this particular person in your life or their thoughts or the experience you had you're still holding on to the grudges time for you to forgive move on and make efforts to know someone new because yes i can see options coming towards you but you're not able to trust them you're not making efforts surrender if something is not in your control let it go yes time for you to detach so that you can heal yourself you're so attached to someone in specific who is that person right now in the comment section let me know i think if i may be able to help you in the comment section are you attached to some thoughts feelings that is only blockage because that's blocking you from healing and when you're not fully healed you're not able to help yourself okay with new love so i'm seeing there's going to be deep intimacy between you and the person that you're going to choose i will take time let me see who are you going to choose how is it going to happen okay you will be in love with this person they'll be very caring and protective of you they're going to make an effort towards you themselves but you will be resisting this initially you will fall in love with this person but you will resist a lot it's time for you to open up stop controlling your desires let it be open like be expressive let them know how you feel you guys will have a deep intimacy between the two of you this person is coming from a long distance this is someone that is very popular successful or has traveled around the world i can see that you will be in love with this person but being sensitive you will be trying to control you know things your emotions so that they don't go overboard yes so right now you're going through emotional healing phase you got time you, there's no need to rush no need to be restless it's just that love is the only thing that can heal you right now and also you need to relax a bit take it easy when you're fully ready that is only when you can just be open to new options and start dating you don't have to date right off the bat you can take your time it's time for also to uh follow balanced diet take good care of your health health is wealth could be a virgo or an aquarius sun moon rising or venus okay mystery you, you never know how your life is going to change and if you're focusing on someone very toxic this person is going to confuse you forever so it's time i'm not seeing your body is able to accept this person's behavior anymore so i can see you releasing this person finally yes they will become your ex this is a toxic relationship or was and they are hurting you or they were hurting you the reason why this is happening because this is not your soulmate universe is breaking this bond so that you can eventually free yourself up for new love to come in who is your soulmate so you're meant to be with your soulmate and they will be madly in love with you they will rush towards you one of these two are your soulmate is your soulmate but there is a need for you to take a stand for your life you to make efforts 
इफ यू मेक एफर्ट्स इन टाइम यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट वॉट यूर सीकिंग एडवाइस इज वैल्यू योर सेल्फ वर्थ यूर अ डायमंड लव योर सेल्फ रिस्पेक्ट योर सेल्फ एंड टेक नो नॉन सेंस सो समन इफ इज प्लेइंग गेम्स विद यू इज टाइम फॉर यू टू रिलीज दैट पर्सन फॉर एवर ओके Because it's time for you to meet your soulmate. If you forgive and let go, stay detached from experiences, from people. There's no one that can stop you from becoming rich and successful. Write down the comment section. I'm a multi-millionaire. I'm doing well. I'm wealthy. I'm healthy. I'm in love. I'm getting married. I am married. I'm happily married. You write that. I'm attracting abundance from everywhere. Thank you, universe. You can write that down, because I can see that the only problem over here is holding on to things and trying to control your emotions, not just going with the flow, and listening to your intuition, making the right decisions at the right time. This is exactly what you're saying. Value yourself above this person or a situation, and you will be happy forever. Let me see how are these two options approaching you? Three of Swords. Yeah, you're still holding on to the past because maybe the past is not letting you go. They're hurting you constantly with their words, with their actions. They're obsessed with you, and there is a lot of reconciliation happening with the same person on and off, on and off, on and off. And this is stressing. This is draining you out. It's like draining your energy. Okay, so you have to let go of this. Page of Cups. New love is definitely coming in. with a lot of hope and desire to get to know you and you're still holding on to some stuck situation from the past it's not worth it because you're about to get married you're in this age of getting married and you definitely are so attractive that a lot of options are coming towards you but you have to decide who you have to be with all right it's time for you to chase your dreams and not a person or not a situation in your life time to take rest so that you can relax yourself and release all the pent up energy heal yourself and move on okay we see your career front money how is this rising yes nine of swords there's some stress around your uh, you might be freelancing and you may not be getting enough uh success with money and this is stressing you or you're feeling like you're being tied down and people have some hopes and expectations but you want to do something else that is bothering you or your past relationship that is too toxic is coming between you and your dreams your career you're meant to make a lot of money but someone is holding you back and majorly why it's affecting your work is because you're letting these emotions take over your psychology okay psyche so you need to control what you're thinking try to avoid those thoughts the negative thoughts that keep repeating because you're about to become abundant very very successful well known a lot of money coming in and growth and happiness i'm seeing 2025 will be game changer for you and uh, you will be receiving uh, good news regarding your promotion hike or sudden success at business i can see there's going to be a never ending growth happening prosperity coming in abundant life the only thing you have to control is negative emotions caused by a lover from the past three of pentacles i'm seeing they it's also because of the constant interference maybe you guys are working in the same place and you get to see each other and you have to bear each other and so if you want to try to get away from this person it's so difficult okay but you have to train your mind that your emotions and your needs are way above this person's uh, presence in your life and i can see that six of wands you're victorious about your uh passion you're passionate you're you're goal oriented it's time for you to put it in, into action because you are going to achieve something big and you have made up your mind okay so i can see you moving forward towards your goals breaking the past breaking the ties with someone or bondages and releasing yourself slowly i'm seeing your money will grow slow and steady is is the way in your case okay so that is your reading i hope uh, you have enjoyed this and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to check out uh, more re readings like this and uh, on i enigma and as well as uh, enigma hindi channel 
which I'm going to upload videos really soon if you're fond of uh, watching the readings in Hindi as well. But don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment to this channel. I'll see you back again with more stuff. Bye.